Welcome to Best Gear Guys. This is Joel, and we're going to be reviewing some gear to get you there today. And specifically, we're going to be talking about hats, wide brim hats. Now, for this is kind of my choice of hat for backpacking and hiking um, because it's just th these, you know, baseball caps. A lot of times I wear dad hats. Um, it's just not blocking enough sun. So I need wide brim hats. I'm going to be reviewing. Um, first of all, the Dorfman Pacific Company hat that I've actually used uh, many times. Then I've got a cheap bucket hat, Walmart hat. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then recently, I finally invested and got a Tilly for my birthday. And I'll talk about each one of these and kind of compare how, how they have worked. So first of all is this... Uh, so Dorfman Pacific Company, and uh, this is this hat is waterproof or water repellent, uh, which means very little to me. We live in Arizona. If we get any rain, it's going to dry very quickly. So we don't worry about rain as much. So keep that in mind as you listen to this review. Uh, I really have liked this one. It has a uh, a uh, a brim with a wire kind of inside right here and you can kind of bend the brim however you want. This is a size large. Normally I run about medium and this is this is uh, fits me great. So I, I could not do a medium in this brand. 52% um, cotton, 48% polyester is what it says. But uh, I've had this for years. Love it. It's I sweat a lot in this hat and it, it just doesn't seem to catch as much sweat for me. And, and I just feel like, especially in the Arizona sun, it's just, I, I'm drenched in sweat from wearing this anytime I wear it. The nice thing is it's pretty wide brim, so it's blocking the sun. Uh, and I always have a problem with the back of my neck. So this really helps with that. So can't go wrong with, uh, with the Dorfman Pacific. Um, then I kind of went to a Walmart hat that's really flexible brim. It, I don't even know what brand it is. I ended up taking the tags out of it. So just a no name. It's really nice because I had a hard time packing the Dorfman Pacific and it felt like I didn't want to crush it. And you know, you, you get the, the brim smashed at all and it's just gonna, it's gonna look like it. It's gonna, <laughs> so then you have to re you know, position all this wire a little bit at a time, try to get it just right. Well, I, I like the the crushable hats and uh, it's not much to look at, but it also seems, I, I, I like the fact that it kind of came close around my head. It came a little closer. It seemed to block sun pretty well. And I just never worried about packing it away. I still keep this in my backpack, even though I have other hats, just in case for myself. It's freshly washed, somebody else can wear it. A lot of times I go backpacking with people who haven't thought about what a sun hat actually does for you in terms of your energy level. And it's just like what someone called portable shade. It makes a huge difference in how far you can walk, the energy level that you have, um, and your body staying cool, which gives you more energy. And so I always tell people, you gotta, you gotta have a wide brim hat, bucket hat, something. So this has been great, but the problem with this flex, it's so flexible when the wind is blowing, which this also has snap up sides here. So anytime I'm, uh, uh, the sun is starting to go down or I'm in some shaded areas, it's nice to pull this up because it just, it just uh, enables me to see all around. Um, and then you can button the sides up. The problem is if you have it down and it's windy out, this is constantly blowing in your face, blowing, then you have to tie this up here and now you've got sun on you and uh, it just doesn't protect against wind very much. And it's constantly flopping in your face and the noise level kind of gets a little annoying on windy days and there's a lot of windy days here. So. I just upgraded to a Tilly hat. Now this is the T3 Wanderer, um, wide brim. And uh, the Tillys have a lifetime guarantee uh, for workmanship. 
And, but, it, but it's extremely durable, what I'm finding out. I did have to return this hat, this different sizes of the hat that I got. I, I measured just the way that Tilly, uh, the website told me to measure, and they're very specific about that. I did it exactly like they said. Didn't help. The first order that I got in, way too small. Took it back to the store. Uh, there's a store that sells Tilly hats. They allowed me to do it. Well, actually, no, I did the exchange uh, with Tilly directly. Then I bought from a store just in case I needed to, to change sizes again. I could just do it directly there at the store. And I'm glad I did because I changed two more times. Uh, I got a, a hat that was just slightly too big. It was seven and a half. Um, I think I started at seven and a quarter. I actually tried on a seven and three eighths size hat and it was too tight. I went to the seven and a half, which was the next size up. It was just too big for me. And I just recently got another seven three eighths and this one fits. So I don't know what's up with the sizing there, um, but fits perfectly. It just feels great. It's got enough of a solid brim that the wind doesn't blow it around as much. Um, but at the same time, you can pack it, smash it. Um, it's totally crushable. And I actually like the inside. It's got this, um, it's got this cord that kind of goes up through the sides of the hat. Um, and it provides, uh, it kind of ties around the back of your head. It kind of provides a fit around the back of your head. And then I actually have the other one that will come. It's kind of like the chin strap. I have it tucked inside. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, I have it tucked inside. Somebody, I saw somebody kind of tuck it in that it kind of loops around, comes out here. And that's perfect because the back, uh, back of your strap for the back of your head really holds it on nicely. Um, and when it gets windy out, if it were to blow, it just kind of holds it on. And if it gets windy where sometimes it does where I would want a chin strap, it's not very often that I would. I would just pull this out of here um, because it's got this little pocket inside. In this pocket is uh, foam that helps keep the sun off the top of your head from getting so hot on the hat, but it also keeps this hat uh, floating if it were to fall off while oh, the other day I was kayaking. And if the wind had blown into the water, it just floats because of the foam, which is great. I love it, styrofoam. Um, and this uh, chin strap would come down here. And sometimes I just keep that out just in case, especially when I was kayaking. I don't wanna go chasing the hat. And it feels great. It doesn't annoy me. I get really annoyed with uh, you know any kind of straps under my neck. This just kind of stays out just a little bit. And I absolutely love this hat. It buttons up really nice on the side. I like doing uh, one side up um, so that this side is blocking where the sun is. And then the, the uh, I could still kind of see my surroundings when I when I snap it up. And then as it gets a little later in the evening, uh, I may put both sides up and uh, it's still comfortable on my head. I do get a lot of airflow um, because of these vents. See, look, even when I'm taking it off, that those straps really pull on really nicely. These vents are great. They really let a lot of air through and keeps it pretty cool for such a thick canvassy hat. Um, so I can't really say enough good things about, about the Tilly. I, I knew someone years ago who had a Tilly and they had it for years. And I, I had no, I, no category for keeping a hat that long and using it that much. Now that I'm going backpacking, it's a staple. You absolutely need it. It's energy level. Um, it keep, gives you shade um, and great great for adventuring so thanks for joining um for best gear guys and hope that helped you uh kind of get an idea of what some great gear that can get you there would be